Welcome back. If you want the front of your home to look a little nicer, but you don't have a green thumb, we have the perfect project to get you started. A mailbox makeover. Adding a few plants around your mailbox will add curb appeal, and it makes a pretty big statement without a lot of effort. We visited the home of a Fox 5 producer along with Pike Nurseries to see just how easy it can be. <laughs> Mackenzie Zaragoza bought her Tucker home last year. She thinks the mailbox is kind of plain and wants to add color with some plants. I think a mailbox is kind of the first thing people are going to see when they come to my house. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that they have a great first impression. Making over the mailbox is a great project for novice gardeners. It's a small area, so it's not overwhelming, and it makes a big return on your investment. It's a good, easy space to work with. They do have another space on the opposite side of the driveway. If they wanted to get a little bolder and match those up, they could do that as well. Melody McDaniel of Pike Nurseries says the easiest thing to do is to plant some evergreen shrubs. They look good all year and are low maintenance. This shrub will be evergreen. This is Laura Pedlum. It has beautiful burgundy foliage that you can see year round, but then it has pink flowers as well. Low maintenance. This is the easiest way to go. Once they're established, they need no work. Then you can add some perennials, flowers that will come up every year with bold colors. These are cone flowers or echinacea. They're perennials as well that attract butterflies and hummingbirds. If you want, leave okay, a small section see. of plants you can change out every season. Seekers That'll pack a big punch for not much effort. Kind of just doing Melody says just remember, tall flowers in the back, short ones in the front. Since they get tall, let's put them in the back. And while they look a little short now, these will get about this height. So you're kind of layering all the way down to the front. Melody says novice gardeners often get nervous and overwater their plants, but it's not good for them. Everything I brought, once it's established, like next year, you shouldn't have to think about it unless we go through a real dry spell. But it's key when you're watering, when they're new, to water less often. So don't go out and water them every day just a little bit. It's better to water twice a week for a long time because what that does is it establishes a deep, deep root yeah. system. Okay. A okay. deep root system so then they're able to better adjust on their own. Something that you can do? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, but I really like it. And and after she explained how much I need to water all the plants, I feel like it it is something that I think I can handle. That watering was something I didn't know. So that was a really interesting piece of advice. Good advice. And one last accent piece to pack a punch. Melody recommends planting a vine that winds its way up that mailbox. It makes a nice statement.